Generic greetings and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. I've just realised that the email program is currently open on the uh, on the office machine here, but when I move forward, it actually scrolls up and down on the page a little bit. <laughs> I'm guessing that's something to do with like field of view or something. But that's that's a new one on me. Okay. Anyway, in the previous episode, I messed up a little bit. I was trying to get this machine here. Um, this is uh, Pleasant June at pleasantgames.com uh, her machine and try to get that benching over three sorry two three nine seven and I looked at all the parts did a visual inspection went you know what I think it's going to be the processor completely overlooking the nine uh, the 960 that was in there with only two gigabytes of RAM so we need to resolve that and the way I think I'm going to do it is by ordering from the shop a GTX 970 gaming 100ME which has got double the RAM and it's a bit faster and stuff so that should hopefully get that up benched over that now I still don't know and I'm very well aware that um, you know people could be raging in the comments right now but um, that's my best guess. So we're going to go with that one. We also have a couple of new jobs in. So we're going to go for a beverage first. Hang on. <sighs> Today's beverage is lilt, actually. I don't know why. I just hadn't had it in a while. When, it, when I went to the shop, there was some there. And I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a go. Totally tropical taste. So other beverages are available. So hey there. Did you get my email about the Film Classics Archive? It's doing great so far. I've already got five users in a heated debate about Captain Cartwright on the forums. Behind the scenes, been ripping my entire collection of cult classics uh, to populate the Classics Film Archive, or the Film Classics Archive. Um, but I'm actually running out of hard drive space again. Could you add some more storage for me? Thanks. By the way, I noticed you're not signed up as a supporter yet. You're Ugh, right, okay. So, upgrade to... Whoa! <laughs> upgrade to 8 gig of storage. Oh, sorry, 8 terabyte of storage. Okay, fine. Uh, we've got some upgrades here. Things aren't fast enough. Can you put in 4 gigabyte of memory? Uh, can you benchmark it, make sure it's all okay? Can you finish before uh, 17th of 1st, 2018, in 5 days? So, accept that. I will just double check to see if I have any RAM. No, no memory there in storage. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to get, again, as we've done previously, a cheap 2 gigabyte stick. We'll add that in there, and that'll be that job done relatively easily. Now, in terms of storage, I believe I added a terabyte... I think he had a 500 gig in his machine. And then we went ahead and added a terabyte. So you should have one thousand. You should have one and a half terabytes of storage, and he wants eight. So I need six and a half terabytes. But it's not as simple as that because I don't know how many drive bays the computer's got. So I might be able to just go for two Seagate Barracuda four terabytes, and two of those will call it job done. Um, paying me four forty. So that's actually quite reasonable to, to assume that, that that's a thing we could do. Or we could try and get... We could get a 4 terabyte and 500 gig. Sorry, no, that would only be 7. We'd need a 1.5. No, we'd need a 2, would we? 4, 5, 6, uh, 7.5. So we'd need a 3 terabyte. Is that right? Hang on, I'm getting confused. Needs four terabyte, got one and a half. So I need a three. And then he's still at 500 remaining. So those two together should do it. But does he have four drive bays? Hmm. I don't know. I think... I think the machine did. Because we've got four, it'll be then five and a half. So you need a two and a half terabyte hard drive, which doesn't exist, so we have to go for the three. And then we can actually rip out his 500 gig and keep that. Okay, let's try that. Let's go with that one. Um, we're saving a little bit by doing that there. So, da, da, da. That, 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 that. Bye. All right. So... 
let's end the day. And obviously, we've still got the other machine on the uh, <laughs> on the bench there. So this is going to go off to. Oh, we, actually, we have we have a day off on this uh, this Saturday and Sunday. We actually now in the Monday there. So go to work. So we will pick that up. There we are. Uh, first things first, we're going to go straight over here and pray to whatever god the layer is, the god of computer rating, that this works. Because I, I didn't even check the uh, the power supply in this one. But hey ho, let's just... Ooh! That's because the cable was down there and accidentally clicked on install. Right, so... Those back. Um, yeah, that power cable is installed. We've had that problem before. <laughs> so come on, please, please benchmark, please. If it doesn't work, I'm just gonna get a 980 Ti. I'm just gonna get a Titan and shove it in there and call it done. <laughs> right, okay. So let's just run this one. And is that FPS lower? Oh, it might be. It might be lower. I'm not sure. Oh, please, no. Please don't. <laughs> please don't. Please just... just uh, anyway. So we're going for that one. If that doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just have to just complete these jobs here. Hopefully have enough money for the biggest honkiness graphics card possible. Uh, we could even try putting the other processor back in, but then we're massively over budget, aren't we? We're massively over budget. Although... That says, does that say 20-odd frame FPS? I do want to click on that, but it cancelled it last time. I think I might have double-clicked, though. Um, oh, we have to learn. Yeah, if you click on it once, it does it. Yeah, it stops the benchmark. And I thought I might have clicked on it and clicked on it again. But that was saying 22 there, which is hopefully okay. I mean, I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, so these two here, that says... Uh, Upgrade to 4GB of RAM, run 3D Mark, that's fine. Complete within two days. We're going to do that today. And then for Blake, it's 800GB uh, of storage, which if I had another bench, I'd be able to sort that out. How much is that bench? Uh, 1,500, that is level 8, and required, and that's level uh, 6 to build that one. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, That seems to be running a bit better, although I can't honestly say that I remember what the other one was like. I like where we've gone with the cheapest sort of... Optical mouse and keyboard setup imaginable. I mean look how cheap that looks very very cheap Also, it's all a bit blurry when it comes to the keys anyway so Once that's done, hopefully it will achieve over the mark required that being 2397 Which is now gonna be known as the uh, <laughs> the devil's number <laughs> the benchmarking devil's number And then, hopefully, hopefully, we can call this done. 2,397. Oh, wow, that's massively more. Uh, we got it at 3,319. I don't know what I was worried about. Oh, finally. Oh, right. I'm sorry about the delay. Collect, there we go. New parts available. Uh, 970. Uh, this is a fix needed. I need some repairs to my computer keeps crashing when it's trying to boot up. Nicholas. Replace HDD and replace PSU. Okay, well I don't know what they've got so I will accept it and it'll turn up tomorrow. So that's good, the fact we've finally done the one of them. So this one is upgrade and this one is uh, upgrade to 800 gig storage. So we'll pull this side off here. And we'll just see what they've got. Remember, they did have the two, yeah. So there's the not very good one. And a one terabyte. So they've got one and a half terabytes, which and they've got all oh, they've got loads of drive bays. One, two, three. So if we wanted to, we could have just got um, a couple of different ones. Um, and I've actually removed the wrong cable there, but hey ho. Um, let's remove that cable. And that's gonna come out and that's getting ripped out. So we will also open that bay and that bay will install. Uh, we don't actually have all those. Uh, we'll install a 4 terabyte there. Now, this does offend me somewhat because it should go 2, 3, 4. Actually, no, because it's 1, 1, 3, 4. But you know what? I'm not going to take. I'm not going to rearrange them for the sake of. So there's the cables. Um, 
that is now got over 800 gig. Sorry, it's got it's got eight terabyte. And I keep misclicking here. It has eight terabyte of storage. Uh, and we've got the uh, drive out of it, out of it. So we've been quite efficient with that one. There might have been a better way of doing it, perhaps. But the whole point is that it's giving us the tasks now and we have to figure out for ourselves which is the best way of doing it while still maintaining, you know, it, but while still being cost effective and also working and compatible and, you know, it doesn't entirely work out correctly because, hang on, wait. Will it run in virus scanner? Did I put those on there? I wonder if it remembers like what we've put on previously, a computer history thing. I don't know if it will work. Yeah, it doesn't similar things like, you know, the, uh, like reliability and stuff and people coming back. As far as I'm aware, I should point that out now, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, we'll collect that there. That's another job jobbed. Um, those idiots over at Movie Max, they're crazy. They organized some kind of DDoS on the Film Classics archive. It was like a million people trying to download everything at once. It totally killed my computer. There was smoke and everything. Can you take a look and see what you can do about the damage? Replace PSU and CPU. So I'll accept that as... <laughs> Good grief. Okay, so, discard that one, discard that one. So the next one is uh, upgrade to 4GB of RAM and run 3D Mark. So it should be quite a simple task, this one. In fact, when we take that off there, um, we will install the... No, we won't. What we'll do first is open that and that. Now, you can see they're in the different coloured slots. It does actually matter. That's for... Uh, Ooh, I can't remember what it's called now. There is a term for it. Let me, let me sell that processor, by the way. There's no need to have that. Um, we could probably get rid of one of these as well at some point. Um, let's install that. Uh, dual channel, I think. But maybe that's old hat these days. Who knows? I think it is. Actually, I don't really know. Uh, install one there. Yeah, it would be nice to have a retro uh, one. Because all of these are like all modern stuff. All modern components and PCs. Like even the older ones. Is that purple fans? Yeah, it actually looks quite nice. I'll give it that. I quite like that. Purple fans. <laughs> yeah, quite good actually. Yeah. Anyway, um, we need to add remove programs. Um, 3D Mark. Sorted. We'll restart. Yeah, a retro one would be nice where you get, um, you know, all old, old ones and stuff. And you know what? There's a couple of things I've said in the earlier videos, and now what I've said, like, you know, it would be nice if they had that. It's actually in. Um, as we've progressed through the campaign, so yeah, I don't think there is a retro thing though. I, I would, I, I would have assumed I'd seen it from other people or on the pictures, and it would have been noted. But hey ho, maybe that's not the focus of the game. Who knows? So that's getting 3D Mark now. That should be completed, and we need to replace HDD and PSU, and well, we need to do that twice plus whatever the next job. We get is I got 1246 generic units of currency and mm, the problem I might have is the yeah oh no rents next week okay I was gonna say um, I might have to uh, I might have to save some money for the rent but it's not it's 500 there so i can probably afford to get this workbench after the next series of jobs finally because things like this now i'm just sitting and i'm not even watching the benchmark i've you know, seen it multiple times so it's just cracking on maybe we should get some some dusters in here or something is that a chip out of the yes it is a chip out of the beam how the hell did that happen <laughs> uh. But yeah, uh, that is now benchmarked, that is now completed, so we'll leave that by the door. And what we'll actually do is collect the payment and discard that one. So leveled up. You reach level 4, unlocked. Uh, Radeon RX 
470 GPUs and a quick screw tool. Components are available. Corsair uh, RGB LED. It's an SP120. Um, 980 Ti. Um, quick screw tool. And it basically says, yeah, nice one. Well done. Uh, next milestone, we unlock cases and Kirby like motherboards. So, this one here. I'm Bruce Van Cleef, award winning author. And I have recently found myself in need of your services. Personally, I cannot stand modern technology and prefer to work on my trusty 1957 quiet typer. Unfortunately, my editor is insisting that I transfer the latest draft of my current novel, the next great novel of the century, into digital copy for his convenience. Convenience? How I detest that word. Is there anything more significant than. Upgrade. Ah, so anyway, my current computer is an outdated Hulk I purchased several years ago. It seems to be able to run the latest professional writing software, Scrivener. Scrivener is actually a, uh, a manuscript writing tool, I believe. Scrivener, not Scrivener. Uh, so yeah, obviously, they've changed up a little bit. With quite, uh, uh, with quite enough vim, can you upgrade the machine so that I can continue my work? The future of literature depends on it. Uh, Bruce Van Cleef, award-winning author. Install a i5-6400 or better and in in upgrade to 8 gigabytes of RAM. We will accept that. So, we need... Well, we're probably just going to get an i5-640. But, here's the thing. I don't know... I don't know what motherboard it is. So, it might need a new motherboard as well. Probably not for that budget. But, but... We're not going to alter anything at the shop. Um, actually, is there any more music in this? Yeah. I, I think I, I really just need the uh, need to play the music from Hackers, the film Hackers. <laughs> uh, be bar, be quite good. Anyway, um, yes, I'm not going to order anything today because there's nothing in the uh, in the cart. So I'll wait for the jobs to come in, then I'll know what to order, and then we'll uh, do it that way. So end the day. So go to work. So we've got three machines. We have upgrade, fix, and fix. So we need to check out this machine. Um, put it on the bench. And you know what? I think we'll leave it there. I think we've been doing all right for this episode. Finally got that upgrade done uh, for the benchmarking. This one is just fault finding out. Finding out what they've got. Replacing it with brand new stuff of the same. Uh, for those two and that one there is going to be a bit more in depth but hopefully one is still enjoying the videos and the series then uh, that is all good certainly enjoying playing this and uh, <laughs> more than happy to continue doing that if uh, that's what um, people are up for but uh, either way let me know in the comments what you think and uh, we will go from there thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings